6 now, and it is Halloween, so the costumes are picked out, the candy's bought, the kids are ready. Oh my gosh, are you still asleep? <laughs> we were up all night, they're so excited, and this year you should pay attention to trick-or-treaters who have blue buckets. News 8's Catherine Ducharme explains what they mean and how you can respond. Between the superheroes and witches, pop stars and monsters crowding your front door. Thank you. There could be a child with autism amongst the group. They're just out trying to have a good time, just like all the other kids. One way to know what the kids are holding, look for blue buckets or blue jack-o'-lanterns. It's just a symbol to people to help them understand that maybe this child might not respond exactly the same way as other kids when they come to the door. It might be harder for them to communicate, harder to know what it is that they need to say. Maria Olvera is a clinical supervisor at the Center for Autism and Related Disorders in Grand Rapids. It's a very overwhelming experience to put on a costume, put paint on your face, do something like totally different. Um, and even just sensory wise, that can be very overwhelming. Her advice to those passing out candy to these kiddos, give a little leeway. I've seen a lot of comments about our, you know, just not giving out candy until someone says trick or treat. And sometimes just knowing that the kid might not say trick or treat and being able to just give it over and say, hey, it's all right, it's fine, here's your candy, have a great night. Because a positive response could really go a long way. The whole community can be involved in helping with um, building skills, getting kids out and having them be included.